This presentation will show how to export a variety of diagrams from Rockworks into Google Earth. These diagrams include maps, borehole logs, cross sections, fence diagrams, stratigraphic models, and block models. Please note that we will not be covering the Earth Apps programs. Instead, this presentation will focus on exporting diagrams from the Rockworks Utilities and the Borehole Manager for Level 2 through 5 licensees. More specifically, that means the Rockplot 2D and Rockplot 3D programs. Before we can get started, a discussion of KML is necessary. KML stands for Keyhole Markup Language. KML is the file format that is used to get data into and out of Google Earth. KML is an ASCII or text file format, meaning that you can read and edit these files with a simple text editor such as the Windows Notepad program. Here is an example of a KML file as viewed within Notepad. KML is based on XML or Extensible Markup Language. XML is a verbose and inefficient format that has a very redeeming feature. It's extensible, just like the name says. New capabilities can be added without destroying backward compatibility. This means that a file generated for an older version of the software can be read by a newer version and vice versa. Nice. KML files are also readable and editable. Very nice. Google Earth also reads KMZ files or Keyhole Markup Zipped which are just compressed versions of KML files. KMZ files cannot be edited or examined within a text editor. The Rockworks 16 Earth Apps programs directly create KMZ files for display within Google Earth. The Rockplot 2D and Rockplot 3D programs do things differently. These programs convert existing two-dimensional .rw2d and three-dimensional .rw3d diagrams into KMZ files. Rockworks then automatically launches Google Earth, if it isn't already running, and loads the newly created KMZ file. For example, Let's say that you have created a two-dimensional map within Rockworks and it is displayed within the Rockplot 2D window. This map is an RW2D vector graphic, meaning that it consists of graphic objects that are stored in project coordinates, such as UTMs or Universal Transverse Mercator. The export to Google Earth begins by clicking on the Google Earth button at the top of the Rockplot 2D screen. For two-dimensional maps, such as this contour map, Rockworks will convert the diagram to a raster image or bitmap, just like a digital picture. This image is then draped over the ground surface or floated as a plane at the designated elevation within Google Earth. The opacity or transparency and elevation of this image may then be subsequently adjusted within Google Earth. Cross sections and profiles operate in much the same way. The section or profile is converted to an image 
and plotted vertically within Google Earth. The Rockplot 3D program handles more graphically complex objects such as three-dimensional borehole diagrams, fence diagrams, stratigraphic models, and block models. These types of diagrams require more processing time during the conversion and rendering within Google Earth. This is because they are essentially created by constructing three-dimensional networks of small triangles. There are two problems to be considered when exporting geological data to Google Earth. The first problem is that Google Earth cannot display items below the ground surface, whereas that's exactly what RockWorks specializes in. Our solution is to vertically move the diagram location upwards such that the lowest elevation represented within the diagram becomes equal to the ground surface elevation. The second problem involves coordinates. Google Earth input is limited to decimal longitude latitude degrees for XY coordinates and meters for all elevations. We solve this problem by automatically converting the project coordinates used for the RockWorks graphic files into decimal longitude latitude degrees and vertical meters during the export. That is why RockWorks 16 requires that the user specify their project coordinate system and units. The coordinate systems that RockWorks currently converts to longitude latitude include UTMs and US state plane coordinates. RockWorks also converts local coordinates in which the longitude latitude for the origin or zero zero point is known. A zero zero point is the longitude latitude for the location where the local coordinate easting and northing are both equal to zero. The units within any of these systems, be they UTMs, state plane or local coordinates, can be expressed in meters or feet. If your data is not in one of these systems, you're out of luck and will need to convert the data accordingly before proceeding. Sorry. So let's say that we've got some data in UTMs and we've created a starburst map depicting soil geochemistry. The first step is to click on the Google Earth button at the top of the Rockplot 2D dialog. You will now be presented with a menu that is specially configured for exporting maps as draped images or flat horizontal planes floating at a user specified elevation. In this example we're going to drape the map over the ground surface so we click on the radio button labeled drape. We'll also check the box labeled Transparent Background because we don't want the white map background to appear within Google Earth, just the symbols. Click on the Process button and you will see a menu that asks if you want to automatically load the diagram into Google Earth. Leave that checked on. Now this second option is something that you probably want to uncheck so that you never have to see this menu again. Don't worry, you can always reactivate it via the preferences menu. Click on the OK button and wait while Rockworks performs the transformation of the map objects to an image, converts the coordinates to longitude latitude, creates the KML file, and loads it into Google Earth. Now if we try that again, but with the transparent background option turned off, we get a white background map draped over the ground surface. RockWorks adjusts for the map margins to make sure that everything is plotted in the proper place. Notice 
that you can click on the properties for the draped image within Google Earth and adjust the transparency of the entire map. Exporting a profile to Google Earth from Rockplot 2D is slightly different. After clicking the Google Earth button, we will be presented with a slightly different version of the export menu that gives us the option of using the endpoint coordinates that are stored within the diagram or using other manually specified endpoints. If we select the stored endpoints, Rockworks will plot the profile within Google Earth such that the lowest point within the profile is equal to the ground surface elevation. Exporting diagrams from Rockplot 3D into Google Earth is similar to exporting from Rockplot 2D. It just takes a bit more processing time. As with Rockplot 2D, click on the Google Earth button within Rockplot 3D. Unlike Rockplot 2D, the Google Earth export options within Rockplot 3D allow you to specify the name for the output file that will be created by the export. Otherwise, the menu is essentially the same, so press the OK button and after a few seconds to a few minutes, depending upon the complexity of your data, the diagram will be displayed within Google Earth. So that's how you can export diagrams from Rockplot 2D and Rockplot 3D into Google Earth. Thanks for watching.